Hi guys, I just wanted to show you the next evolution level of my uh, dual boot procedure, so to speak, on the DM42. We see here that we have a DM42 and uh, what I want to demonstrate is how I quickly switch to the C47. And uh, this can be done extremely fast without touching any files residing on the computer. The computer we uh, have here on the left hand side of the screen is a Linux uh, system, but the method can be used also on Windows machines or on Macs. Okay, so let's get right in. I uh, go into the uh, system setup, as it is called, on the DM42. And here I start the uh, USB disk mode. And we see on the computer now that it detects, or I see it <laughs> on the other screen, uh, the computer has now contact to the um, to the DM42. I change into the mount directory, and we do a short ls dash l, and we see two files, starting with rest and ending with log. And that means restore 42 or 47 from local files. So what we have to run here in order to get back to our C47 is rest 47 block. I start this, press Y for yes. And all what happens just in this very moment is a local file copy on the calculator itself. And now we see, um, press exit on the calculator, we do so. And at this stage, we have to look for load QSPI and this is in system. So we go into system. I think we, we, we need a DMCP. Yeah. Okay. So my fault. Um, load QSPI from FAT. You see it's loading a C47 QSPI. Press any key. Exit to continue. Press any key. And now we choose load program. Go to C47 PGM. Confirm this. You see how fast uh, this runs. Press any key to start. Exit to continue and C47 is loading. And it automatically loads also my very own most recent state file as I can recognize here. This is my uh, directory structure. Yeah, that's it. Uh, not directory, menu structure, right? Okay, so the only thing which sometimes happens when you transition from the C47 to the DM42 is that the DM42 comes up mostly correctly, but first of all, does not load your most recent state file. And second, 
it gives an error message when you try to load your most recent state file. You know what? I show you how to get back to the DM42 and I'll show it to you there. Activate the USB disk, of course. That's the first step. Here I change back into root. And uh, change back on the 42. I call the the, the, the command, right? We, we go back to the to the uh, DM42. And you see we have nothing to do with any file on the computer, just files on the calculator itself. We need the computer only as a command, command processor, right? Because um, the DM42 can't uh, execute scripts by itself. Okay, so now we are back here on the on the uh, DM42. We now can load the QSPI and you see it's the one for the DM42. Exactly what we had in mind and what the scripts uh, should do. And if we are lucky in an unlucky way or vice versa, <laughs> we get into this problem I wanted to demonstrate. Press any key to restart, because now um, we have to load the program. We choose DM42, confirm this with enter. And again, you see it's a, a fast process. The most time consuming thing is always uh, the copying of complete directory structures uh, from the computer to the, to the DM42. You see, we are now in my latest state file. That's wonderful. That's exactly what uh, should happen, right? So no error. Uh, but I demonstrate what you can do if you don't see your very own state file after the DM42 has started. You go into the setup menu, you go into the calc state menu with uh, number two, item two here, and here we have the possibility to load a clean state, and that's the thing to do. You press 3, <coughs> then you get this uh, yeah, default state, right? Again, you ch change into the system menu, system setup as it is called on the DM42 software. And now we can again go into calc state load state and here are my own state files and I choose this one and everything's fine okay so originally I just wanted to show one transition in this video but now you have seen two and you have more information on this thing which only happens when you go from C47 to DM42. I never experienced uh, this state file problem uh, in the other direction. But I think it's, not, it's really not that problematic because it happens not always, but only sometimes. And uh, you can easily fix it. It's absolutely no problem. 
Okay, so thanks for your attention. Nice you were here. Have a nice day and bye-bye.